where's the line drawn between free content versus paid content? Mm, this is good. So this is going to be different for everybody. So mm -hmm. for me, <clears throat> okay, so here's, here's what it is because I do have a program, right? So I have a program and a lot of what is inside that program you could go and you could find a lot of similar information. You aren't, you're not going to find the exact videos and everything on YouTube, but you will find very similar information. And the reason is, is I'm teasing out a lot of that content to be shared. So people see, she knows what she's talking about. She, mm -hmm. she has been doing this for a while and she's mentioning she has this program, she has this course, or she offers a service, then that's when it's like creating that curiosity of, you know, um, one of my mentors, Amy Porterfield, she says a lot where it's like, I want to tease out like in a free resource or in a PDF, a guide where it's like, this is so good, her free stuff what is our paid stuff like? And so mm. for anybody that's listening, I would just like drop the mic there because people will say, well, you're sharing so much. Like, you know, you're sharing, like this almost feels like borderline, like you should be charging for this. You should be, you know, you could make $27 on all these different workshops and you could do this. And that just stresses me out. It really does to think about the mechanical processes of setting up, payment plans and like tracking down information. And yeah, I could hire, or hire VAs and a lot of people like have a whole customer service team. But at the end of the day, there's just going to be some people that are my raving fans on YouTube. Y'all, they are my people. They are the ones that say, you've got to go check out. Crystal has this great uh, editing video, or she has this one on using like repurposing content. So the idea for me between free versus paid is attracting the right people to my content with all of my free stuff. So that buying decision is so like, uh, usually by the time, and it was funny because I had somebody recently say, oh, I already watched all your YouTube videos. I listen to all your podcast episodes. Like I, I, I don't even need to talk to you. Like I don't even have to have a direct conversation with you. I feel like I know who you are and mm. I know what you deliver. I know how you teach. I know I want you to be the person that teaches me. And so it's really validating too, to hear that from other people that your free content, while in the beginning, you're like, there's no direct ROI, right? You don't have the return on investment that you can see right in front of you. But man, I'm telling you, if you stick with it and you have that content, that's super valuable and it over delivers and it really helps people, then it's going to be something that they're like, this is a no brainer. Yeah. They, it's like, take my money, just take it. You know, I like, this is fantastic. So that's really the way that I look at free versus paid.